Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulher and we are here in Vienna at Color Zoom at the Global Zoom event. I'm here with the Sam Burnett from the UK. The salon is hair and bone. That's correct, yeah. And it's been fun because we've been watching everybody come up to him and say, you're making a wig, how do you do this? And these are hair professionals that yeah. still want to know how to make a wig. So Sam has volunteered to break it down, so. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so the way that we work is we decided to make wigs so we can really get experimental and do what we want with the model's hair. So it's relatively simple. We just work with uh, two skull caps on a block head. Um, and then we take hair wefts and we cut them to size, wrap them in a circular motion around the head um, and then cut the wig as we go to make sure we get the right shape. So I'm just going to show you the glue that I'm using and a weft that I've pre-cut already. So if you'd like to come over. So this glue is called Liquid Gold. You can get this from any good like Afro hair store or hair weft place. I go to a place in Dalston in East London. Um, so, and then we're just going to run that glue along the edge of the pre-cut weft all the way along. And then just make sure you've got lots of lots on there so it's nice and strong. And then we're simply going to pick up the weft. And I'm going to start from the front section so we don't get any joins at the front of the wig. And then we're just going to literally wrap this round and secure it into place. And then you just continue that process all the way to the top. And the question I was asked is, how do you finish that and make it look natural so we take a smaller piece and we would end up twisting that round and using a flat iron just to create a nice round shape so it ends up looking a bit more like a crown and that would be maybe off center so it makes it feel more natural okay so what um what are some common mistakes that people make when they're creating wigs I think some really common mistakes would be using a blockhead that's too small because then it doesn't fit the model. Um, using synthetic hair because you can't color that. So make sure you get hair that's really good quality. Um, and also people put too much hair in so they look like wigs. So I think less is more, especially through the priorital ridge because that's where the hair can end up looking wiggy and bulky. So less here, more around the perimeter, and a little bit more towards the crown as well. Okay, and then you said it doesn't fit the model. How do you make it fit the model? If you're doing it on a bigger mannequin head, yeah. how, and you have a model that comes in with either a bigger head yeah. or a too small head, what do you do to adjust it? So if the model's head is too big for the wig, what we do is we would cut the back of the wig just through here to release it. Then we would pin that to our own hair. Um, if their head's too small, we would just pull the wig round and just use some Kirby grips just to tighten it all in as well. Another little trick to make a look, wig look natural is if there's hairs too bulky, lift up a top section and take some grips and pin it very flat here, then let the top section sit back over and that makes the hair feel a little bit more natural. Um, trying to think of any other good tips. While you're thinking of that, tell us what formula you have here. It's like a dusty periwinkle almost. Um, so I didn't actually color these wefts. One of my team did, Jamie. But I'm pretty sure there's some 10P in Goldwell with a little bit of lavender and some clear. But the whole theme for our show, we're, our show is called uh, Tainted Quartz and it's based on crystals. So we're taking the pastel color trend and we're making it a bit smokier, a little bit deeper and a bit more dusty feeling. And that's something that you're saying will be on trend for the fall and winter I mean, 19 autumn, and 20. Autumn, winter 19, and right through into spring, summer 19. So the pastel trend, I think, is becoming a real staple color. People are really enjoying that. So, uh, But it's moved on. It's a little bit deeper. It's a bit dustier. So it's a bit more sophisticated way of doing a pastel color. Well, you know, Sam told me that he's uh, big into biking now. I mean, look at him. Do a little pan here. He's in he's in great shape. <laughs> and you're doing your you just rode from London to Paris. London to Paris with uh, uh, we had a whole gold world team. There was 50 hairdressers from the UK uh, for a charity called Bloodwise. I've got a just giving page called Sam Burnett if you want to donate. Uh, but it was over four days, 500 kilometers. Oh, that's great. Well, that's congratulations cool. on that. How do we follow you? Uh, you can follow me on Sam Burnett Hair on Instagram or Hair and Bone, spelt like the rabbit, so it's H-A-R-E. 
Um, and and, and uh, we, we call that H A R E. Oh, H, sorry. <laughs> that's my South London accent for you. No, that's so great. Well, yeah. congratulations. Have a great show tonight. You, I know you, you always knock it out of the park, so thank thanks for so giving much. us this time. Always great to see you. Great to see you. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>